good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, of the of the media, and uh, welcome uh, to this uh, press briefing um, on preparation for the 67th uh, session of the Commission on the Status of Women uh, (CSW), which, as you know, uh, will start uh, from the 6th. Uh, to the 17th uh, uh, of, of March. Uh, since uh, we uh, are scheduled, uh, or the briefing has been scheduled to start at 10.30, uh, uh, I think uh, we, we should proceed, and uh, the colleagues um, uh, that uh, would uh, wish uh, to join us, I think um, uh, they, they, they can do so whilst uh, the, the briefing is underway, as we are aware that uh, you have your own uh, other uh, uh, commitments. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm aware that um, there are some uh, colleagues uh, that have joined us uh, via the, the virtual platform. Uh, welcome uh, to them uh, as well. And maybe as a housekeeping uh, issue, uh, as and when then they uh, wish to take the floor uh, during the Q&A, uh, if then they can uh, just open their mic and um, uh, just ask for the floor. Um, um, the uh, speakers uh, available, so we'll be able to, to hear them. And then, of course, um, uh, take their questions so that it can be attended to. Uh, with that, uh, it gives me a great pleasure uh, to introduce uh, the distinguished uh, uh, panel uh, uh, before us. Uh, uh, the first being uh, Ambassador uh, Matu Joini, the permanent representative of the Republic of South Africa uh, to the United Nations, who is also uh, the chair of uh, CSW uh, 67. Um, Her Excellency, the permanent representative uh, of Argentina, uh, Ms. Maria del Carmen uh, Squaff, who is part of the uh, CSW uh, uh, Bureau. And then uh, lastly, uh, the colleague uh, from uh, Mongolia, um, who is also uh, part of the CSW uh, 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 Bureau as well. So um, oh, that is um, uh, Chimgundari. Uh, Movan uh, Yunden, that is the colleague, uh, the councillor from Mongolia, the vice chair elect from the Asia Pacific Group, uh, also part of the uh, the Bureau of CSW. Uh, with that, um, it now gives me great pleasure uh, to give uh, the floor to Her Excellency Ambassador Joini, the chair of CSW 67, uh, to brief you on uh, preparations uh, for CSW. Uh, 67. Ambassador, you have the floor. Thank you very much, Masocha, and good morning to members of the media in the room, but also those that are joining us online. It is indeed a great pleasure to be able to talk to you this morning. I remember last year we only spoke at the end, so it's a good thing that we are able to talk about uh, CSW just before we start next week on Monday. With me are uh, members of the Bureau of CSW 67, and next to me is the facilitator of the agreed conclusions, Ambassador Marileta uh, of, of Argentina, uh, of, of, of Argentina. And next to me is Chimi, Chimi representing the Asia Pacific Group. Um, uh, 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 and I have two other colleagues that have just joined us. Um, Annette from Germany representing the Western Europe, European and others group, and, uh, and, and Latvia, and it's Maris, uh, who is uh, representing the Eastern European group. These are the, uh, that, that's the team that has been hard at work to prepare for CSW67. But of course, we wouldn't be able to do it without the assistance of the, of the Secretariat. Uh, uh, two parts of the Secretariat, and that's UN Women, but also the DGACM. The, 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 the colleagues from those units have been really wonderful in, in, in assisting us to get where we are. Um, we are ready for Monday. Um, 
and we are going to be receiving a record number of women from all over the globe, uh, from government, from civil society, young people are going to join us. And of course, the theme of uh, this year's uh, um, uh, CSW is innovation and technological change and education in the digital age for achieving gender equality and the empowerment of all women and girls. So the theme itself is being considered for the first time, quite an interesting theme. Um, and it'll be looking at all those difficult issues that we, 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 we need to talk about. So on the one hand, technology, of course, uh, provides opportunities for, for, for advancing gender equality uh, in many ways. But on the other hand, we know about the issues of uh, uh, safety and protection of women in particular on different platforms. But that area is being looked at uh, 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 in, in the agreed conclusions. We are hoping to have bold conclusions that set norms and standards uh, to push forward, uh, uh, making sure that women are well represented in the tech sphere, that education allows them to, to, to participate in the innovation um, ecosystem systems that are there, that uh, um, women uh, and young women in particular are given space to, to design uh, technology, to develop technology, to deploy technology. Uh, we're also in a policy space looking at, as we speak right now, there are, if any, frameworks, uh, 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 governance frameworks, whether at national levels or at global level, certainly at global level, none, uh, that looks at how do we govern the space of, 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 of technology. And this is where we need to look at government, but also the private sector and say how do we, how do we set a, 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 a standards for governance in, in the tech space. Um, but just to give you a sense of uh, what, 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 what um, the session would look like, to date we have 181 member states and observers that have, uh, that have uh, registered for CSW. We have three heads of states, we have two vice presidents, and we have one head of government that will be participating. We have 116 ministers that will be here to, as you know, we do have a ministerial roundtables, and the ministers are here to share uh, experiences, but also to learn from each other, especially when we come to uh, looking at the policy aspects uh, of, of how do we ensure protection and safety of women in, 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 in the in, in, in the internet, but also as they use uh, different technologies. The civil society will be here in, in big numbers. Um, there are 40 NGOs that have registered to be able to engage throughout. Um, there are about 10 um, intergovernmental organizations that will also uh, be speaking. Uh, so these numbers that I'm giving you are those that will be participating in the, in the general discussion in particular, uh, being, making statements, giving inputs, uh, sharing uh, uh, what they need to share uh, formally in, in, uh, during the general discussions. Um, and, and as I said, there's a strong showing of, of, of civil society, starting with uh, written submissions that they, that, that they make. And those are quite important, they're quite essential, especially on a new topic like this. We've had about 200 written statements that have been submitted by, by ECOSOC NGOs, uh, and this is more than in previous sessions. And all of those are available on the CSW website. And in terms of a, a registration of, of, of representatives, about 8,700 have registered to attend. Of course, not all of them would attend, but we have a 8,700 registered, um, a very high number. Um, and, and, and we are expecting between 4,000 and 500 of those to attend. As you know, the, some uh, because this will be webcast uh, throughout all the official sessions, um, uh, so so we, we expect that some will be following uh, those uh, on 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 UN Web TV, um, but a large number will be here in New York. And in terms of side events, there are there are many side events that have been organised by member states, about 180 by member states, but uh, civil society um, itself has 
over 700 of side events. 300 of those are in person and about 400 of those will be virtual. So it is going to be quite a, 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 an engaging a, a two weeks um, where we'll really be engaging with each other and hearing each other. But we need to keep an eye on those agreed conclusions that are really going to set the standard for how uh, technology uh, innovation can advance uh, the status of, of, of women and girls. In terms of uh, the, 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 the two weeks, the first week, um, of course, we'll have that opening session. Uh, we expect the SG will be there, the tech envoy will be there, um, and a representative from civil society will be there, young, a young person will be there, and about two uh, UN agencies, uh, the special rapporteur, uh, they, they will be there in, uh, uh, during, during that opening session. Then immediately after, then we will go into the general discussion. Uh, this is where ministers, heads of state, or so the leaders of delegations will be making formal statements from their countries on how they, they see this particular topic and, of course, sharing with us what they have done uh, and what could be challenges. Immediately after, uh, the general discussions will, will go on until into the second week. Um, but uh, the, then we have ministerial roundtables, as I said. You do need to hear, uh, you need a political voice uh, uh, in, these, in, these, uh, in CSW. And the, the, the roundtables are really meant for that political voice to come through, for ministers to come and discuss, share with each other, um, hear each other. Um, so there, are, there will be those, uh, there's four ministerial roundtables that will, will allow for, for participation and, 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 and discussion and engagement of, of, of ministers with each other. By the end of the week, we will then have uh, the, 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 the review the, um, theme. So this is where, and this is, it's a useful session. This is where you take agreed conclusions of a previous year, and you allow uh, member states to come and share what they've done with the agreed conclusions of a previous year. This, this, in this year in particular, we're looking at agreed conclusions that looked at uh, a, a rural women or women living in rural areas. Um, so it should be an interesting one where countries can share with us how have they implemented the agreed conclusions. Of course, it's usually it's it's uh, progressive. You 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 you. But it, it's always interesting to hear what they have to say. And as they do present, they usually bring a, a whole a country team uh, to be able to, to, to share how, how they have implemented. And in that, you'll find that the civil society, this government, uh, so that they can give us a pic full picture of how, as a country, they have grappled with, with, with the agreed those agreed conclusions or implemented them. So that will happen on, or, uh, uh, on, on Friday. So the first week, it's general discussion, it is the ministerial roundtables, and then the review. Then in the second week, we will begin now with interactive dialogue, uh, dialogues. Um, there's, 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 there, there will be, we're quite excited to have the first interactive dialogue for young people. You'll remember that last year we reviewed working methods, and in that process, and Latvia led us in 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 in, in that review of the working methods, and and we were able to bring and formalize that CSW must provide an opportunity for young people to engage the theme of the year. So this will be our first uh, uh, interactive dialogue where young people can engage with this theme. And it's quite an appropriate one for them. Um, we have written together with the, with the executive director of UN Women two member states encouraging them to bring in their delegation members of the civil society, but in particular, to also bring young people so that they can participate in this. So that interactive dialogue will happen next uh, in the second week. Another interactive dialogue that will happen in the second week will be on, on, on the um, emerging theme. And I remember very much last year when we were looking at um, at uh, uh, climate change and disaster risk management, uh, the question came to say, 
what about what was happening at the time, which the war in, in, in Ukraine has just erupted, and, 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 uh, but it was after all had been decided. Um, so emergency theme really allows us to, to, to say, other than, than the theme that is given, what is it that we still have to deal with? And in this case, uh, we have an emerging theme that is looking at the multiple crises that are impacting on women and girls, uh, uh, um, including still the recovery from, from, from COVID. Uh, then we have an expert panel on, 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 the, on the theme itself, on this year's theme. This is an opportunity to hear from various experts uh, talking to the particular theme. The, the, as I said, and, 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 and Mariletta is, 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 is facilitating that, and I'll hand over to her just to say a few words on that. On the agreed conclusions, um, this is what we will take, all of us will take away and make sure that our governments, but in this particular case, private sector is also a big player, that the, 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 the norms and standards that must be set in these agreed conclusions are the one that, that, that uh, uh, um, talk to all these sectors, talk to how we create innovative spaces, uh, and those uh, innovative spaces uh, are spaces for all sectors, not just government. Um, so that, that, that's, 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 that's what will come out of the agreed conclusions. Lastly, I just want to say that we need to look at this year's CSW within the broader context of, of what's happening at the UN. We all know about our common agenda coming out of a, 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 the political declaration of UN 75, the report of the SG, and now we are moving towards the summit of the future. And this must also be looked at within that context. Um, I am in I am facilitating, co-facilitating together with the UK, the, the Science, Technology and Innovation Forum, which will be taking place in May. And one has to look at these things in an integrated manner. The agreed conclusions that comes out of CSW 67 have to find their way into the Science, Technology and Innovation Forum, where the scientists are, where the private sector people will be, that, that, that are creating solutions, and they have to look at what these agreed conclusions are and how do we take them forward uh, um, in, in, in the STI forum that will be taking place in, in, in May, early first week of May. Similarly, we need to insert the agreed conclusion into the current discussions that are going on uh, on the global digital compact, which is towards the summit of the future. I cannot see the a, a digital, global digital compact that doesn't take into account the issues that will be coming out of the, the, the CSW. Uh, uh, if we are going to have that compact, it, it has to talk to how women and girls are, are, are benefiting from, 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 from the digital spaces. Um, I would even venture and say even financing for development, we need to be thinking about how do we bring, because financing is an issue, again, uh, when we are talking about how do you close the digital divide, how do you look at access and infrastructure, financing also comes into play. So we need to be looking at these agreed conclusions, filtering, being harvested by the other processes that will be taking place at the UN. Let me stop there and give a uh, uh, facilitator uh, just to say a few words. Uh, over to you, Marletta. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Matu. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, really, uh, Argentina holds the vice president of the Commission on the Statue of the Women uh, on behalf of the GRULAC groups. Uh, and this year, we have the huge responsibility of facilitating the agree conclusion on the priority team. I feel very honored to take on the task of facilitator of the negotiation of the CSW 67 Agri conclusion. We are work working with all delegation is in an inclusive and transparent process to ensure the success of our negotiation process because it belongs to everyone. 
the team of the CSW Agri Conclusion in 2023 is set uh, uh, um, the arma to my colleague is innovation and technology, technological change and education in the digital age to achieve gender equality and empowerment of all women and girls. The commission is addressing a very broad and important issue that includes aspects such as a gender based violence in the digital context and equal access to technology to all women and girls, especially those who face multiple and intersecting forms of discrimination. Last week, we have finished the first reading and delegation engaged very, very constructively. This last Wednesday, we circulated the new version of the text, uh, the Review 1. In the Review 1, we have taken into account the strong call to streamline and shorten the text. We have started with a 78 page working document, and now we have a middle 38 document that is easier to read and work on. The review one has been prepared in line with the guidance provided by all delegations in the first reading. In addition, we would like to stress that the review one is a balanced test. We want to achieve a great conclusion that includes the priorities and voices to everyone. We are looking forward, looking forward to the second reading to consider the review one that will take place on Thursday, 9 March in the afternoon, and we plan to finish by Friday, 10 March evening. We look forward to successful and efficient process in order to achieve a great conclusion that take into account the needs of all women and girls on the ground and their most urgent needs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, your Excellency Ambassador uh, Matu uh, Join, the Chair of CSW67, uh, for that very uh, comprehensive and uh, uh, rich uh, uh, briefing on preparations uh, for the forthcoming CSW, uh, including um, uh, the logistical and um, uh, substance uh, uh, part um, um, of the, the, uh, the preparations. And also thanks to Her Excellency uh, Ambassador Del Carmen Squaff, um, the, the Vice Chair uh, from uh, the Krulak region, uh, also for, for that um, augmentation uh, on the equally important uh, uh, role uh, you will be uh, playing uh, in the uh, CSW67. Uh, uh, with that, uh, uh, dear uh, uh, colleagues uh, from the, the media, both here and those joining us from the virtual platform, we would then uh, seize this opportunity uh, to open uh, the floor for the uh, Q&A uh, session uh, so that you can uh, make your comments or pose uh, 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 your questions uh, to, the, to the panel. Um, as you uh, take the floor, Please do uh, um, uh, give your name and the name of the, the media organization uh, you, are, you are from uh, before then um, uh, addressing your question to the, to the panel. Uh, with that, the floor is open. Thank you very much. On behalf of the United Nations Correspondents Association for doing this briefing before CSW, starts to give us an idea of what's going to be ahead in the next two weeks. My name is Edith Lettera from the Associated Press. I have a couple of um, follow-up questions. Um, first, um, Madam Ambassador, you said that this was going to be a record number. Can you tell us what that net record number is and how it compares to last year? And um, Madam, <laughs> Madam Facilitator, on, on the document, um, 
Are there any major contentious issues that still need to be resolved, and what are they? And um, my, my question is about uh, two issues um, regarding the status of women that are pretty crucial at this moment. Number one, being the uh, total, um, basically, uh, return by the Taliban to putting women uh, back in the Middle Ages. And I wonder if this issue is going to be addressed at all at CSW. And the second major issue um, is um, sexual violence against women in conflict, which we see, of course, in Africa, but also in the war in Ukraine. And is that going to be addressed? And is Ukraine, the war in Ukraine and the impact in, on women going to be addressed? I think that's enough. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, thank you very much, uh, dear colleague. Uh, do we have um, any more questions? Um, I, okay. think, I think we would appreciate having our questions answered one by one, if you don't mind. Okay. Yeah. Thank if you. If there are no objections to that, um, that's how we'll, we'll proceed. Uh, so we have a number of questions from the uh, Associated uh, uh, Press. Uh, the first uh, being on the numbers, um, uh, how, how does the, the um, uh, current number compare to a previous, the previous session? Mm -hmm. And then the second one to the uh, facilitator, uh, the ambassador of Argentina, on the issues uh, to be uh, resolved uh, in the, the discussions on the agreed uh, uh, conclusions. And then there were additional uh, questions uh, pertaining to the agenda on CSW. Uh, one, um, on the uh, developments in Afghanistan af affecting a woman. And then uh, there was a second question on the uh, sexual uh, violence uh, cases um, uh, in, in Africa and other regions, and also uh, the issue of the the plight of women in, in Ukraine. So I think those were the issues uh, which were raised. With that, uh, Ambassador, you have the floor. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for, 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 for those questions, Edith. Um, with regard to the record numbers, and, 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 and I think the only f uh, fair way to treat this would be to give a breakdown in terms, and it'll be in different categories. For instance, ministers. How many ministers were registered uh, um, in the previous session or even the session before, pre-COVID? Uh, and that can be provided to, 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 to all of you uh, so that you have uh, comparable numbers. But what I have now, for instance, I know that this number for NGOs was more than in 1963, I mean, in, sorry, in the 60s. 63rd session, and, and, uh, but I think we can get that information that is accurate in terms, that gives you uh, uh, numbers, and we do have UN uh, Women Secretariat with us, and Maya will try and, 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 and pull that information together, including with Lopa, who is dealing with uh, civil society, where again, the numbers there are higher than in previous CSW. If that is okay with you, then you'll have a, the number, the actual numbers, yeah, from comparing different years. Then um, your, your second question, Zidith, was on Afghanistan, what's happening there, um, uh, if that will be dealt with in, 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 in CSW 67. So it is unfortunate what is happening. In, in, in Afghanistan, when we are now talking about digital uh, education, um, how do we make sure that uh, girls get digital uh, education, that they get computational education, so that they can participate meaningfully in, 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 in the digital uh, world, 
that in other parts we, we, we are faced with a situation where there's not even education for, for girls. So it, it, it's, it's quite stuck. Um, but with the, the way that an issue like that will be addressed, it'll be in the number of side events that will be happening. You, do, you will find member states that will partner with a, a, a civil society from Af Afghanistan, from Yemen, Yemen is, is a similar situation, and, and others, to put a spotlight on those issues. But in terms of the official program, you will find that it's on the theme itself. Um, uh, but around in, in, in the different spaces here at the UN, and virtually, of course, there will be side events where there are partnerships bringing attention to, 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 to those issues. So as you can imagine, it, we can lift one country in the official program and, and, and focus on that. Um, with regard to sexual violence against women in conflict, um, you, once again, the theme would be the topic of the of the official program, but again, the the, the, the in spaces like you know during CSW, there is space to talk about, and and once you look at what's happening, remember one of our imaging theme is the is our imaging theme is 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 um, imaging crisis, imagining, you know, um, those emergencies. And in there is conflict, it's food security, it's a number of issues. And in there, you do have space to focus on, 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 on this issue. So the expert panel that will be looking at uh, the emerging issue of getting back on track, achieving gender equality in a context of overlapping crisis, one of those being conflict, then what happens to women in conflict uh, would, 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 would get attention. So that's that. Um, the war in Ukraine, um, no, it, the, in, again in the official program, there will not be a focus on the war in Ukraine. But as I said, in the emerging theme, we will be looking at those uh, conflicts across. And uh, it will be conflicts across uh, 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 um, uh, the world. Uh, and we know where those conflicts are. And uh, the unfortunate thing is that women tend to suffer in each and every one of those, of, of those areas where there are conflicts. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mato. Thank you for the question. Really, um, I believe it's necessary to uh, set, uh, we are negotiation the test. For the reason, it's better to have uh, in consideration all the subject, no? Violence is in the, in the discussion, but really we have the effort to arrive a balance between development and human right issues. Uh, issues related to technology facilitating violence, no? And there are some uh, expression or some uh, issues is more delicate than, other, than others. But uh, really, I prefer to, um, uh, uh, to have uh, some reservation for the process of the negotiation. It's true, there are a lot of side events, and with the different subject, very, if you want, very important in this uh, situation, the conflict. No, I believe it's necessary to approve this this possibility and uh, to participate for obtain the um, amplify the voice. No, uh, but it's true. Um, uh, we receive a, a number of proposals on violence in digital context, and delegation want to have a strong language. And uh, this is our situation at the moment, in, in, in really in the center of the negotiation, all, all subject, one subject more difficult than other. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellencies, uh, for those uh, uh, responses uh, to the to the uh, first round of uh, questions. Uh, colleagues, I now open uh, the floor once again for the second um, um, round of questions. The floor is open. 
Thank you so much. Um, thank you for doing this briefing today. This is Maryam Ramadi. Um, I cover Iran International and Afghanistan International. Following to Eddie's questions, I have a question on another major issue on um, women's rights uh, that uh, the world is facing um, currently um, in Iran. Um, as you know that a few months back, um, the Islamic Republic of Iran was removed from CSW uh, for suppression of uh, women's rights and women in Iran. Ever, ever since, we had um, reports on arbitrary attention, rape on women by the Islamic Republic security forces and poisoning schoolgirls all over um, Iran to st stop girls from um, learning. Um, how do you think the CSW 67 session going to address this issue? Um, as I know, this is going to be on digital um, platforms and world. Um, women in Iran do not have access to internet. The regime has um, have limited the um, internet and um, um, all social media platform for the women to not send their messages outside the country to the world um, hearing what they are going through. Um, so if you can just tell us about that a little bit, uh, how this issue is going to be addressed. And also, um, Afghanistan issue is a very major issue, as um, Eddie um, mentioned. Um, how is it not going to one of the um, major and one of the most important part of your um, agenda or you, of your um, the 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 um, session that CSW have um, planned, not just side events, um, because women and girls are not um, allowed to educate, um, get, get educated, or go to school. They don't have access to any kind of platform or get an education in um, digital platforms. So I just wanted to know, like how that wasn't considered in this year's um, CSW 67 session. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Miriam, uh, uh, for those uh, uh, two questions. Um, uh, the, the first one uh, relates to uh, the, the question of uh, uh, women's rights uh, in Iran. Uh, and then the second um, on the the uh, situation in Afghanistan and how the CSW uh, will will handle that uh, in its uh, main uh, discussion. So with that, uh, Ambassador, uh, I okay. give the floor back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Miriam. And absolutely, uh, both, uh, these are important women's rights in Iran, in Afghanistan. I mean, that's why you have a CSW taking place every year to see how do we strengthen the, the rights of, 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 of women and girls? How do we empower women and girls? How do we ensure gender equality? Um, and the way it's structured uh, from the Beijing platform is that every year there will be an area that is chosen to advance women's rights in that specific area. Um, so that, and that will be the theme of that particular year. So the agenda for, 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 for empowering women and girls for gender equality is vast. But if the, 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 the specific issues are taken every year, and that's how the theme came about. And they're, pre they're decided beforehand. Um, there's a session that will look at for the next uh, five CSWs. These are the issues that we need to make advances in. These are the issues where we need to create uh, 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 governing frameworks, where we need to create norms and standards to strengthen uh, uh, women's rights in this. And last year, as I said, it was a, a climate and how climate impact on women and girls. This year, it's this one. So that that being said, when 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 and and you look at that and say there are specific countries uh, that you want to lift and, and, and want to give focus to, um, in this context, in the context of a of a, 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 a an, an official program where there is a theme 
member states must come and talk to that theme in terms of what they're doing to that theme, um, where the when the ministers are sitting in the round table again, they're addressing that theme and talking to that theme. Um, so th that is designed not to put a spotlight on a particular country, but it is designed to put a spotlight on an issue that we must advance in that particular year. So the spotlight would be on how whether it's technology or whether it's rural uh, uh, development or whether it's uh, gender-based violence. So the spotlight from year to year will be on the issue and how we all come here to make sure that we strengthen norms, normative frameworks, policies, programs, and so forth on that issue and not on a particular country. Uh, the reality is that you will find that a number of countries, even those that may not necessarily be in conflict, that in those countries you're still having those challenges. Uh, so that's, that's why the spotlight is on the issue. So that, that, that's why, that's the structure of the program. However, it's a good thing that during CSW, the space is created so that alongside the official program, and it's still the official program, uh, but alongside you have spaces where you can put further spotlight and, uh, on, on, on any matter. And it doesn't necessarily have to be linked to the, the theme. But quite often you'll find that you can, whether, as, as we are talking about, specific country, you can still link that, that issue that you are looking at for, for the country that you want to put a spotlight on. But I hope what I've, uh, I've, I've described for you uh, um, kind of explains how the approach is. It's usually how do we take a s issue this year, another issue next year, another issue from the, from the Beijing uh, platform uh, and action agenda on a, on, a, on a yearly basis progressively. So if I were to tell you that in, uh, um, from the Beijing platform, the issue of uh, Technology was limited to education, communication, and uh, uh, employment. It was just those three, education, communication, and employment. But we now know that it's far more than that. So this CSW is meant to expand uh, uh, that technology and digitalization. It's actually discrimination against women and girls. It's beyond just those, those three areas. Um, and and that's, that's the approach. I hope it, it explains. Thanks. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Your Excellency, uh, for those uh, responses. Um, I see another uh, request uh, for the uh, floor as we, we move uh, to wrapping up uh, the briefing. Uh, dear colleague, please take, take the floor. Hi, Ambassador Stephanie Fillion from the Japanese newspaper Asahi Shimbun. Uh, I just have a follow-up on Iran. Um, you said 181 member states are registered. Is Iran one of them? And also considering that they were kicked out as a member of CSW, is there any engagement whatsoever from the Iranian delegation? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Stephanie, uh, for those questions. Ambassador? Thank you. I, I'm just checking if they're registered, but I'll, I'll, I'll answer on principle, just on a, yeah. Um, so as much if Iran wanted to be registered, they will. They will go ahead and register. If they wanted to make a statement in the, in the General Assembly under general discussion, they will. If they want to participate in the ministerial roundtables, they will participate. Um, uh, uh, so they're looking, but, but that's in principle they will be able to. So uh, they have been, um, uh, they're not member of, of CSW, uh, but they're still a member of, of um, the General Assembly, the member of the UN, and therefore will be able to participate equally uh, civil society uh, of, from Iran will have, there'll be no, no limitations whatsoever in terms of their, their participation. The only time that, 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 that there's an impediment is if there were to be a vote. Then Iran will not be able to vote. 
that's the only time. Thanks. Thank you very much, uh, Ambassador, uh, for, for that uh, response. Um, uh, colleagues, uh, I think uh, we, we have satisfied uh, the Q&A, but before I move to Doja, I just want to check uh, from our online participants if they have any questions for the members of the panel. I, I see uh, no uh, request for the, the floor or hear none uh, uh, from our online uh, participants. But uh, before I wrap up uh, the, the session, I would uh, like to give the floor to uh, Chimi uh, to maybe add a, a few points on the questions Stephanie had uh, raised. Chimi, you have the floor. Thank you, Masacha, um, and thank you for this question on uh, Iran's participation. Um, I just want to add for uh, on what Ambassador um, uh, Matu just said. Um, so Iran is registered to deliver a video statement. All member states um, uh, can deliver statements regardless of their status, um, whether they're a member of um, uh, CSW or not. So all member states, even if they're um, an observer members as well, can register to deliver a statement. But they uh, won't be able to uh, ask for a vote on the agreed conclusions. Thank you very much, uh, Kimi, uh, for those uh, additional uh, uh, points of, uh, of, of clarity. Uh, with um, that, uh, dear uh, colleagues uh, from the media, uh, we have uh, come to uh, the end of uh, today's uh, briefing on preparations for CSW uh, 67. Uh, we trust that you uh, found uh, the uh, briefing uh, informative in terms of uh, the, the questions um, uh, that you, 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 have, you may have had. And uh, we also take this opportunity uh, to express uh, our appreciation uh, to the panel, um, uh, Ambassador Matu Joini, uh, Chair of uh, CSW67, uh, uh, Ambassador uh, Maria del Carmen Squef, uh, Permanent Representative of Argentina, uh, and also a uh, Vice Chair uh, of CSW on behalf of uh, Krulak, and then, of course, uh, Ms. Kimi uh, Navan Yunden, the Vice Chair uh, of CSW from the APG uh, region. Um, we trust then that um, uh, going to the CSW, um, of course, that you will uh, um, uh, 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 sort of uh, uh, get the chance uh, to, um, to interact uh, with the, the, the members. And, uh, and of course, any uh, questions uh, you may have, uh, we are available uh, to answer, answer them uh, during uh, this, this session. We do anticipate, of course, that towards the end of the, the CSW, we'll have a, a, another engagement like this where we'll look at the outcomes uh, of the, the, the session. Uh, with that, uh, we thank you once again and wish you a lovely day and a lovely weekend. Thank you very much. The briefing is adjourned.